guys, it's Dear Natural 62. It's water marble shout out time. I know you're excited just as much as I'm excited. So let's get to it. So I've already primed my fingers with Sally Henson's Double Duty Base Coat. And as you can see, I've already used the lightest color of each color combo. And tip, the reason I do this is because if you get one of those nasty water bubbles burst after you do your design, if it bursts, at least one of the colors will be underneath. If you cannot repair it and you add a top coat, it will blend in. So let's get started. Our first color combo comes from a Twitter follower, Maya Marie Maria. Yes, I absolutely love the name. And not knowing, she tweeted me this morning and said it was her birthday. So big, big shout out to you and happy birthday to you. So I hope you love your design, you know? And if you do this design, definitely, this goes for everybody and anybody. If you create any of my designs, definitely post them on my Facebook fan page, Dear Natural 62 Instagram me, tweet me, and you know, that's a great way to connect with me. Don't forget to like and follow at the same time. I'm just saying, like, just don't leave your pick and be like, that's it. <laughs> don't forget to like my Facebook fan page and follow me, you know, on Twitter and Instagram. And definitely by now you should be a subscriber. If you're not, I don't know what you're waiting for because only subscribers would know that I currently have like three giveaways going on right now. So definitely check out video number 146, 148, and 149 if you have not done so already. <laughs> So now, as usual, I'll give you some tips throughout the video, so I hope everything is useful. If you have extra comments and questions, definitely leave them down below. Definitely keep the color combos coming. I absolutely enjoy it. You know, I absolutely enjoy doing nails, and you know, ideally, ideally, what my dream would be to have my own nail polish line, that would be an absolute dream so let's all concentrate towards that can you imagine dn nails dear natural nails i just think that would be awesome okay so now i'm just gonna move just a little bit faster so i'm gonna speed up right about now combos I'll definitely might do some embellishment but I'll leave that for the end okay so I'll be right back moving on to our next color combo this comes from a YouTube follower by the name of Kiki 61001 again I'll put everyone's name down below just so you can check them out check out their channel follow them on Twitter or what have you so now you know the most popular question what type of water are you using? This is regular room temperature water. There is nothing fancy in the water. It's actually tap water. And for those that might not know, room temperature water just means I take the water, I leave it in my cup for about an hour or so till it becomes room temperature. I hope that clarifies that for some. Now, if you're still having issues and the water room temperature is not gelling with your polishes, you can adjust the water to fit. So if you need to make it a little bit colder, that's fine. Play around with it. It's practice makes perfect. It's nail polish. Don't let it get the best of you. Please have fun with this. You know, don't get so frustrated and you're texting me and you sound so distraught over nail polish. Please play around with it, have fun with it, make it work for you. These are just helpful tips and guides to help you out.
right, my next color combo was suggested by a YouTube follower. Her name is Scorn175. They wanted to see this red, brown, and white look, and they said it reminded them of a robin, the bird. So we'll see what we get. Thank you, Scorn 175. Let's keep moving on. Our next color combo comes from a Facebook fan follower, and her name is CC Pie 2442. She had just recently been to New York and she saw the Lion King, and she said this color combo was inspired by that, the Lion King. And I can kind of see it, yes, the red, the yellow, the orange, makes sense. Let's see what we can come up for her. I love when you give me these color combos and they come with a little story. I absolutely do enjoy that. Please though, let's keep it light and happy. No sad stories. Um, it's just too, I don't know how to say it, but let's just keep it happy. You know, if you wanna suggest something to me and you wanna add a little story to it, I appreciate that, but let's just keep it on the happy note, okay? Because nail polish is fun and happy, and who doesn't like being fun and happy? Thank you so much, CC Pi 2442. I'll be right back. Okay, my last color combo comes from. I wanted it to be smaller, so let's get one of these because my pinky is smaller. Let me turn it. There's nothing wrong with turning your design around so you can make it work best for you. I wanted to say thank you so much, jellyfish underscore lover 333. I'll be back with the final look. Okay, here's all the final look. If you absolutely love your final look, that's fine. You can stop at this point. But what I'm gonna do is take a minute and embellish a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. 
Let me know what you think. Definitely let me know which is your favorite design and take a look to see what I did. I actually just added some various big dots here and as it went down, I gradually decreased the size of the dots. I thought that was absolutely gorgeous since I had that open pink space right there. I didn't add anything in any anywhere else because I thought it was fine with just that cute accent. So you can keep it simple or you can keep it throughout where I'm adding the black dots only on the white sections and just adding a little extra pop to it. Here I had like a little streak, a thin streak. I wasn't sure if you could see that or not, but I could see it up close. So, so what I did was add a row of dots going down the middle and then going towards the sides. And I thought that was absolutely adorable. Now this one, I thought this was so adorable. Since the yellow stood out to me so much, I thought I'd just add some reds going alongside that to, to tie in the colors a little bit more. And for the last one, Again, this still reminds me of the fish. <laughs> that black and white fish. All I did was add some white dots on the black because the black had um, bigger loops here. So I just added some white to fill that in. I thought that came out absolutely cute. Definitely tell me which one's your favorite design. And I'll put some pictures up after this video of some people that sent me their results. So you'll get a shout out. So definitely don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Instagram and Pinterest and don't forget to like my Facebook fan page definitely check out the three giveaways going on right now in video number 146 148 and 149 So again, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed making it for you. Definitely keep the color combos coming. Take care. Goodbye